Hey guys, this is a quick video tutorial on how to downgrade your 5.50 Gen A, B, C, or D down to 5.00 M33-6. Very easy, um, very few minimum requirements. Obviously you're going to need custom firmware, the ones I just stated. First, you gotta go to the link which I have provided in the description and download the recovery flasher. Okay, that will bring you to this web page. Just download it. Okay, very simple. Now, once you have that, I'm going off my external hard drive right now, so yours obviously won't look like this. Um, you'll basically get a folder that says recovery, just like that. Okay, inside of it, you have these two files, five dot p b p and the eboot dot p b p okay this folder is very important okay now let's go to our PSP um, what you want to do is go to USB connection once it's on there oops all you have to do, this is the root of your memory stick. Click on PSP. In the game folder, I already put it in there to prepare for this video. But you'll you'll take your recovery folder wherever you saved it to. Just save it to your desktop so you don't have to go all over the place to try and find it. Just move it over there. That's it. Very simple. Okay? Once again, that goes in the PSP game folder from when you're on your memory stick. Now, back to the PSP. Let me go back a little bit. Okay, now, once it's on there, you go down to your memory stick. And this is, this is what it'll look like, just like this, okay? Now, I'm already on 5.0M33-6. But I'll just run you through it really quick. So you start it up. Now, I suggest when you're doing this, you either have it plugged into the wall through your charger or you have a full battery. They always just say 78% and whatnot and blah, blah, blah. And I didn't yesterday because I just put, I just actually did this to my PSP the other day. Um, I don't think it'll show up. Anyways, it's all you have to do is in this menu you have three options. I do not agree to this. Blah, blah, blah. Just all you have to do is I hit I agree. Take me to this program. Okay. Now at the top, I understand you guys can't read this menu. Um, I don't know. All right. All you have to do is basically this option, the second one. The first one will be target FW firmware 5.00. Just go down and click install CFW and in the parentheses it says a version selected above. That's what you want to do. Um, after you hit that, the next options are reset format settings as well. Do not reset format settings. I changed my mind, let me out. Clearly you hit reset. Now I don't want to go too far into this, but it's very simple. I don't want to screw mine up because I already have a bunch of stuff on mine. Um, so I'm going to hit back to the main menu. But basically, it'll go through this and install itself, and that's it. That's all there is to it. It's very easy. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything along those lines, my next video I'll show you guys how to put themes, the CXMB on your PSP. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe.